Community projects are central to the work done by ORCAF. The Community Endowment Fund collects community resources via donations using it for projects such as health, social cohesion, youth development and sport. Their cricket tournament has been in operation for the last six years. The latest addition drew on some of the broader objectives in serving the community. So this year what we did was we combined the youth tournament, giving youth a purpose, playing cricket, but also for each run and each wicket that is taken, we've got a sponsor uh, or various sponsors in place in order to fund the cataract for a grandparent or an elderly or a vulnerable person uh, throughout South Africa. OCAV needs to be lauded for their commitment and their, their contribution to cricket, uh, the development of the game, and building the community. It is no doubt that they have shown a great commitment through the energy of the CEO, Mikhail Collier. He and his team, they've done sterling work to put together this, this, uh, this competition. And more important, the quality and the foundation that they're creating. After a few years in operation, the competition began to enjoy tremendous success. The 2019 edition was made up of about 68 teams from the under 10 to under 19 age groups. But the competition suffered in 2020 and 2021, with the number of teams drastically reduced due to the pandemic. Organizers this year ambitiously staged the competition in the 100-ball format, with 22 teams competing. Youth from all walks of life from the Cape Town area converged to share their passion for cricket. Dallin Collier plays for the Primrose under 18, and has spent much of his young cricketing career with the side. He's relished the opportunity to get back into the thick of things after an unprecedented challenging couple of years. OCOF is a tournament that brings people from all spheres of life together. You have players from all different backgrounds. You have players from the townships, you have players from the rich suburbs. This is basically the pinnacle of cricket at Primrose under, under 18 before you go into your senior year. So this is a very big tournament for me and for all the boys playing under 18 throughout all the age groups. These are the type of realities that we are faced with um, within the society that we live. Last year, I received a message to say, thank you for allowing me this opportunity. Everything in my life was going downhill. And before the tournament, I actually contemplated committing suicide. And I got a message to say, from my coach to say, are you guys excited? And I thought, the boy writes to me and he says, and I thought, I can't disappoint my team. And I thought to myself, I won't do it now. I would rather do it after the tournament. But the, he shone in the tournament, right? He took so many wickets, so many runs, and he became, it gave him a new lease on life. And there we saved a life. And there's a saying that if you save a life, it is as if you saved the entire of humanity. So through this tournament, these type of stories from youngsters who are just enjoying themselves playing cricket, it actually has such a profound and long-lasting uh, impact on their lives. And I think that is the, the takeaway lesson um, on this tournament for us. Heavy rains dampened much of the first few days of the event, with uncharacteristic downpours in the summer months halting entire days of potential cricket. When the players were best with clear skies and a playable surface, they took to the field with enthusiasm. I just want to say to our volunteers, you know, in all facets of the game, whether it's the media team, the coaches, those that are supporting the, uh, the youngsters during these few days, I want to say a big thank you to, to the volunteers. Because volunteerism is, is challenging. I mean, they're giving up everything they got and to make sure that uh, we can nurture and sharpen the skills of our youngsters and our future. We just need to continue to work together for the greater good of our country and the beautiful game.